credit, not credit, not, I would say credit to him, but like, this is sometimes the pointless, the pointlessness of fucking cancer culture, isn't it? it? It felt like just the other day, Chris's whole world imploded with the Rolling Stones article, the documentaries, the girls phoning into other podcasts and laying bare their experiences and crying about it online and detailing it in gruesome detail and blah, 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 blah. blah. And after all that said and done, He's still here smiling, collecting checks on podcasts, performing on the road and stuff like nothing's happened. Don't get me wrong. His Hollywood career is over. No more Netflix specials for him anytime soon. But he did weather that storm, innit? He did weather the storm. Somehow he weathered it. I don't know how he did it. He maintained the course. He stood steadfast, didn't cave, didn't make any statements and just kept it moving. And it kind of went away. Kind of wild, isn't it, really? It kind of shows you like, you know, really, and and it's, it kind of shows you maybe something like, I wonder what it is because the Ezra Miller and Jonathan Major is a good example, right? Ezra Miller has been accused of just as much crazy shit as Jonathan Major has been accused of. Maybe there's more evidence on Ezra Miller's side than there is Jonathan Major's, really, if you're being honest about it. But they're two abusers or abuse, you know, have been abusive in their past. One person's career, in, you know comes to a screeching halt in Jonathan Majors to the point where he's fighting for his life right now. It's, it's, it's debatable if he ever come back. I don't necessarily think so. I think being a black man, you know, he just really fucked himself over because I think, unfortunately, being black, we just always have a different set of rules for us. And I think if you're in that level where you're becoming a Hollywood star and he's becoming, he was, he was on that level to become like a proper, proper, the next guy, um, I think you just can't risk making those kind of mistakes. You can't make the same mistakes your white counterpart can make, quite clearly. But, Ezra Miller gets to do the flash, gets to be on a red carpet. His movie still comes out. His career hasn't been halted. Um, no one's dropped in really for the most part, but Jonathan Majors has. And then on Chris Leah's side of things, scores of victims have come out and give their testimony. Documentaries have been made. All this stuff has happened. Uh, there's a, allegedly some sort of investigation happening, which I don't believe really, but maybe there is, according to those articles that were out there. But yet nothing's really happened. He's still out here thriving thriving you know in a roundabout way it's hard man it's hard it's hard it's hard to kind of i don't know and if you're a victim i wonder how you'd feel about that because i guess in some respects if you're a victim of the crimes that he's been accused of you might have you might want him in prison but is it is it likely he'll be in prison probably not or if you want some career damage to happen to him he's already been damaged quite a lot career-wise because his hollywood career is over but you can't you know, stop him from having a podcasting career because his fans clearly don't give a fuck. Um, and stand up is the same thing. What are you going to do? You're going to stop the clubs from telling him to book him. But if he can bring fans there to pay for their tickets, like why shouldn't they let him use the space if he hasn't been committed to a crime? Yeah, you know, it gets a bit murky in how you kind of deal with it. But it can be, I can only imagine how difficult it must be for the victims to wake up every day and keep seeing his face despite all the stuff that's been said about him. Like nothing seems to be really changing in that regard bit wild but anyway let's 